Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Lone Wolf 902. Today, I'm out here with my son Desmond. Where are you at there? You made it around? He's, uh, we parked the truck right now right up against the, the tree, so he had to kind of skinny out. Uh, we're just, we made it back to a location that we've never been to before. It's quite rocky. We've had to pop it in four-wheel drive a few times. A lot of steep hills, a lot of big rocks, but it was a fun drive, eh? Yeah. Pretty fun. Uh, so right now we've kind of found this off road. It's very, very skinny. It doesn't look like there's going to be any room to turn around. Uh, I could back out, but I'd much rather walk in here just to make sure it's going to be a location that we want to camp at because we are truck camping today. So it's going to be a little bit of a, of a kind of a more relaxing trip, right? Yeah. So we're not going to be hiking in or whatnot. Uh, it's kind of a transitional phase right now um, between spring and winter. Uh, so we want to get out before it's too hot and explore some different areas. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just kind of reaching in here and grabbing my knife so I can put it on my hip. A little bit of protection because you never know what might be lurking in the woods or back there or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead, get my knife on my hip, and we're going to hike up this trail just a little ways. It only looks on my GPS like it's maybe 100 or 200 yards in. And... Uh, and then there's some fresh water because I'm staring at the fresh water right behind the camera. So hopefully this goes up to maybe a clearing or a camping area of some sort. Um, we're going to go find out. So you ready? Yep. All right. Let's lock truck up and let's hike in up there and see what's up there. Mm -hmm. All right. Watch your head. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay guys, so we've just come down to the end of the road, hiked in, it was about 200 yards. Uh, we're up on a hill right now. I, I don't think the truck will be able to get up here and there's definitely, I don't, there might be enough room to turn around. It's gonna be really, really tight. We're gonna try, but I think we're definitely, definitely staying here. What do you think? Yeah. Looks good. We're up on a, a hill, probably about 50 foot elevation over the lake and we literally have the, the water starts way over here, I can see it through the trees, and it ends way over here. So almost 360 degree view of lake water. Absolutely, completely silent. Do you hear anything? No. Creek and tree and birds, that's it. No cars, no people. Wow, this spot is excellent. So what we're going to do now is down here, there's remnants of an old fire pit. There's some old burned firewood here. Uh, there is, unfortunately, a, a tiny bit, there's an there's a alcohol container over there, and I thought I saw maybe a coffee cup. But it doesn't look like anyone's been up here for quite some time. So what we're going to do is, I think our tent will fit right here, because we are tenting tonight uh, in a new tent. So I think it'll fit here, and we're going to set it up so there's a wind block, because all the wind coming off of the water may kind of get a little cold through the night. So. If we can get the truck up here, that'll be perfect because then we don't have to walk down to the bottom of the hill. It's only about, I don't know, 100 feet down the hill, but it'd be really nice to have it backed in here so we can go in the trunk, get our stuff out and, and do that stuff. But I'll give you guys a really quick look, a little 360, a shot of the lake, and then we're gonna go back and kind of plan how we're gonna get the truck up here because if I could drive in, I think I'll be able to drive in up here, back right where the camera is and then back out forwards and hopefully that'll work because if that does work absolutely awesome spot so let's go have a look at the lake all right so here is our lakefront view uh, this is down where I'm gonna probably most likely park the truck if I can't get it up the hill but we did find another little fire pit down here it looks like someone's been cooking up fish maybe uh, what an excellent, excellent spot. I mean, it is just, it, it is open. It, it's wide open. We're in the wilderness. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video on precautions and what we're going to be watching out for. But we are way back here. 
Uh, I don't think I have cell phone service. I haven't checked yet, but this is awesome. Awesome. You like this spot? Yes. Perfect. All right. So let's run back to the truck. And worst case scenario, if I can't get it up there because it's tight, um, I can pull up this little hill back in here, pull out, and then back in again and set the truck there for the night. So let's head down to the truck and let's go get it. All right, so we backed up halfway up the hill and the truck will go. It will definitely get all the way up there, but I can't see anything and we are so far back in the woods that I'm not risking. There's a bank up here and I really don't wanna get hooked up in that and get caught and, and end up breaking parts. But backing up, I, uh, I, it, it dislodged uh, quite a large rock. And right here, we've actually got one of these little guys. Little salamander, hold your hand out. He doesn't bite, he's very, very delicate though. Hold on, two hands. Got a little salamander that we found right underneath the rock. All right, so he's a, he's a speedy little guy. Desmond's gonna put him back in the hole there where we found him without hurting him. Yeah, go ahead and put him down gentle. Yep, there he goes, off he goes. So that's pretty cool. Nice little salamander and on his way. And we're on our way to go get our stuff set up, right? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so this being a truck camping trip, uh, why don't you jump up here and have a seat just for a second. Uh, so this being a truck camping trip, like I mentioned, we, we do have a new tent with us and it's the One Tigers Tigers Den. It's a Baker style, family style tent. It, it kind of, it's almost like the Backwoods Bungalow 2.0, but on a much bigger scale. So we do have that back here. Um, currently in Nova Scotia, we're not allowed having fires. There is a fire ban. However, we can have lanterns. So I brought two lanterns and that's kind of going to be our makeshift campfire for this evening. And uh, yeah, that, that should throw off plenty of light. It's going to stay light out here. It's quite open for probably till about eight o'clock ish. And then we'll go ahead and light the lanterns and kick around up at camp. So we do have camp cots. We're not going to be on the ground ground. So we're kind of, this is more of a, a relaxed kind of family kind of, well, father and son, me and Desmond. Um, just, just time to get out and start enjoying, you know, warmer weather and just relax. No hiking today. I mean, we'll, we'll explore, but it's, it's mainly just the uh, car camping. Like I said, we got our cots, we got our down bags. We got some great food. And it looks like they already, the last people that were here kind of took a big boulder and made a table up there. So that's pretty cool, eh? Mm -hmm. They'll be able to make hot chocolate and, and stuff on that, put the rock there and use it as a table. So we're going to go ahead and get all of our gear. How about we do the tent first, actually? Let's, we'll get the tent and we'll bring the tent up there. We'll set that up, yeah. make sure there's enough room, and then we can start hauling piece by piece what we need to, to set up camp. Mm. Cool? All right, so that's the plan. We're gonna get the tent, get it up there, get it set up and start enjoying this awesome, awesome area because listen to this. That's the trick, there is nothing. There's that's nothing, it. that's right, there's nothing. It's complete silence. We got woodpeckers, birds, squirrels. We got a little bit of a wispy wind kind of going through the trees. Awesome. All right, let's get set up.
Okay guys, here is the tent that we're going to be sleeping in tonight. Uh, we're on very, very uneven ground. So right now I put up one wall panel over here. You guys can see there's quite a wrinkle in it. Um, that the ground's really uneven. So in order to get that straight enough, I would have to lift this up and it just, the pole's not that long. So awesome tent to put on level ground. Unfortunately, we don't really have a, a large flat space out here. So this is going to work perfectly, no problems. Uh, very, very large tent, pretty big, eh? Yeah. You got plenty of room. So like I said, we're gonna be sleeping on camp cots. Uh, I brought a small backpackable camp cot and a very large camp cot. Uh, whichever one you want to have, you, you pick and choose, I'll sleep on whatever. Um, but we're going to get our camp cots in there and I do have another wall panel. Just in case you guys aren't familiar with this tent. It does come with two wall panels. So like I was mentioning, I have one wall panel up here right now. This one's a little longer. It actually goes in the front, so it'll create uh, a little vestibule area. And that's the reason why I pushed the tent forwards. There's this big generous rock here. Once this panel is up, this rock will kind of be indoors. Uh, I brought one chair. This will work great for another chair. So if it does start getting windy or rainy, go ahead and drop this door down and then we can hide inside and kind of enjoy our camp area. So this will go up later on tonight, not right now. So I'm just gonna toss that down there and uh, straighten out this pole here, a little wonky. Um, yeah, so this is going to be home for the night. I'm very, very excited. I'm kind of bummed out that we didn't bring the kayak, actually. Um, not that it would have mattered because you can't go in it with me because it's only a one-person kayak, right? Oh, that was a big bee. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do you want to do? Do you want to get the cots up here and all the sleeping stuff finished? Mm -hmm. Maybe cook up a coffee and get you a snack or something? Mm -hmm. Cool. Are you a little cold? You look, you look like you're a little cold. Your sweater's down there in the truck. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's go and get our, our stuff, get it inside the tent, and have some fun. Cool? All right, let's go. All right, so here's one of our camp cots that we're going to be using. This is my personal backpacking camp cot. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. How that sets up. Uh, awesome. I do backpack with this. It is on the heavier side. Uh, if, if you guys are interested in, in knowing more about some of the gear that I have out here today, I don't have gear reviews for all of it yet. Uh, I've been very, very busy pumping out older videos, actually. Uh, I, I've had like 10 videos stockpiled, so I'm now releasing them. And you guys will probably think it's a little strange. Uh, I don't know whenever this video goes out, but you'll see kind of spring and then snow and then spring and then snow. Uh, I, I have a lot of snow videos still uploading them. So if you guys are interested in any products, um, feel free to ask. Drop it down in the comment section. I'll get back to you for sure. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to get caught up on videos and get some more information out to you guys. So let's go ahead. Uh, can you reach that zipper in the tent there? way up in the corner and we'll go ahead and get this guy inside all right let's get these straps we'll put these underneath the cot so we don't lose them okay yeah. underneath there you got another strap put this one in here here let me help you with that Ugh. you gotta pull them this way see yeah. come right off so, go ahead and take that one. Set this one. You gotta get all the stuff off. You can have the thick one, okay? Yep. I'll set it up for you. Put it on the pot.
we basically have our entire tent system set up right now. Um, I'm on the large cot. <laughs> I'm pushed off to the side and it's on really uneven ground. This thing barely, barely fits inside of this tent. Now the camp cot fits, probably got about 12 inches or so. I, I kind of, yeah, pretty much split it six inches to the door, six inches to the back. So this has got about a foot of play. This guy, this cot is huge, massive. Like the room you have is like an inch. Yeah, basically enough to zip the, the mesh close and that's it. Now this cot is a cot tent. It, it actually has an unzippable top and a rain fly, you set it up. So this thing's massive, it's huge. This guy is not that big. So I'm gonna be on the big one over to the side. It's a little uneven, a little uncomfortable. Desmond's up here on more of the flat ground. So I think that'll work out really well. Uh, sleeping bags are in here. Sleeping pads are underneath. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and uh, got an airplane flying over right now. Let's go ahead and have some coffee and I'll get you a juice pack. You want your Kool-Aid jammer? We'll do that and let's enjoy this. All right, my shoes back on here. Make some coffee, okay? All right, so coffee's made. Uh, I made myself, <laughs> I should probably explain this first of all. Uh, inside of this pink container, what I put inside of my cup. I did this on my last overnighter, which the one I posted was at a waterfall, I was hiking. And, uh, and a lot of people said, is that peanut butter you're putting in your coffee? Uh, it's, it's actually not peanut butter. So it's, it's a homemade coffee mousse. Uh, my girlfriend makes it and she made up a, a batch of it this morning before me and Desmond head out here and it's basically it's it's not the proper way of making Cuban coffee but it's 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 a way of making Cuban coffee that you can bring with you hiking backpacking camping whatever it's super easy it's just sugar and coffee 
you, you make up, I'll, I'll talk to her at home and hopefully I'll be able to get the recipe from her and maybe do it on video or at least post it for you guys. But basically Cuban coffee is like, you take your mocha pot and the first little bit of black coffee that comes out, you pour it in to a container with like two or three teaspoons of sugar and you whip it and whip it and whip it until it turns into like a paste almost. And then you pour your coffee into that and you get that nice espresso head of mousse. It's really, really good. So basically what she did is made a concentrated version of that that I could take with me and put into my cup, pour my coffee in, instant, super bold, super strong Cuban style coffee. Very, very good, very awesome espresso to have out camping. Easy to make, just coffee, pour it in. I mean, you guys saw, I used my kettle with a couple pine boughs or spruce tips in there, sorry. And I still got quite a bit of coffee in there. Go ahead and pour it in. Coffee is great in the woods. So that's what I got right now. Desmond's already had his Kool-Aid jammer. So he's over there. Are you making a fort? Are you making a trap? <laughs> Looks like he's making some kind of animal trap, but he's over there playing and uh, it's starting to cloud over a little bit. The wind's starting to kick up. So what we're going to do or what I'm going to do, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and then I think we're going to cook up either supper or uh, a kind of a snack type deal. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all that's going on right now. Kind of enjoying the quiet. Really, really enjoying this quiet. All I can hear is birds in the background a little bit of wind coming through the trees great time out here so like I said I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and we're either gonna kick around and explore a little bit or we're gonna start on supper So we've been bumping around, having some fun. Uh, it is getting quite chilly out, so we've gone ahead and put our hats and sweaters on. And Desmond's getting hungry. You want your supper now, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Desmond, you're not a real elaborate eater. You eat a lot of simple foods, right? I, uh, I have a, a big dinner that I'm gonna be doing myself. Um, it's more of a Asian style kind of feel to it. Uh, that's why I went ahead and brought a big frying pan from home. So being a truck camping video and kind of having fun and just, you know, just having fun. It, we're, it's, it's nothing. It, it's nice to get out here and not be so serious. What was that? Oh, stuff fell down behind. <laughs> uh, it, it's nice to get out and just kind of relax and not be so serious and filming and trying to get, you know, the perfect shot because I do that a lot. I, I really enjoy making these films and I put a lot into it. Um, the reason why we, uh, other than having fun, this is our trip, right? Yeah. Nice time to relax. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to film doing this, uh, truck camping and, and showing all the, the elaborate stuff that you can bring, you know, we got my regular table, but I went ahead and brought a big frying pan, larger tent, uh, two cots, the truck, big water jug, all kinds of things is I have a lot of viewers that, uh, that can't do this. I get, I get a lot of viewers that say, thank you for filming your adventures. I can't do it anymore for what other reasons, some are health, some are location. But uh, I just wanted to kind of make a video to show that the two of us can come out mm -hmm. with a truck and uh, we don't have to hike very far. You know, I mean, we're what, a hundred feet away from the truck? Mm -hmm. If that. So, I mean, we took the truck, four wheel drive, came back here, set everything up. And we're just gonna basically park ourselves here for the night and, and enjoy the, the view the water it's quite windy <laughs> so we're we're just going to enjoy doing this so this is kind of a, a nice relaxing way to show that you can get out in the wilderness and you can enjoy it even if you don't have those special spots to hike into if you got you know a large enough piece of, of of woodland or wilderness area around you you can you can utilize that take your truck take your car whatever just get out and get out there so that's kind of what we're doing right now. But uh, back to the food, Desmond isn't really an elaborate eater, so he just wanted hot dogs. Uh, seems that's all you bring every time, eh? Hot dogs. But can't argue with that. He wants hot dogs, so I got two hot dogs for you. 
I got your ketchup and mustard down there in the containers. Uh, I'm gonna use my canister stove, because like I said, we're not lighting a fire this trip, so we're gonna use the canister stove, and I'm gonna pop it up here, and hopefully this wind won't, uh, won't cause a problem with this big frying pan. And after he kind of does his food, I'm gonna go ahead and cook up my meal, which is going to be really cool. Uh, too bad you didn't like kind of spicy hot food, because I got steak that I already sliced and vegetables I already prepared at home. And I'm basically gonna fry them in the pan with some sesame oil and make a curry noodle dish, which is gonna be really awesome. So, hot dogs it is. Yeah. All right, cook these up and get you your dinner there. And we, we got other foods. I mean, we got chips, crackers. Uh, we got some hard boiled eggs that we brought. Mm -hmm. We got a whole bunch of, of, of food. So this will hold him over for now. And that's what he wanted. So that's what he gets. That's the fun thing about being camping, huh? Mm -hmm. Kind of do some different things. Unfortunately, you don't get to roast them over fire this time. In a frying pan. Still gonna be good though. So get this going. Whew. I think that'll work. As long as the wind doesn't blow it all over the place, eh? So what I've got going on, like I said earlier, I've already pre-cut everything, which makes it super, super easy. So I got my beef, my garlic, my onion, my green onion, carrots, uh, my oil, sesame seeds, all kinds of great stuff. I'm gonna pop it in the pan, get it real hot, get it seared up, and then I'm gonna make my ramen. I got curry ramen. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up, bring it all together and have a big whole plate of goodness now i always feel bad for cooking good food like this because desmond always has basic food and that's that's all he will eat that's all he really right every time we come it's what do you want hot dogs or hamburgers right sometimes craft dinner basic food uh i always feel bad but uh i do you want some of this no no <laughs> i mean you can't argue with a kid that's happy with what he's got right so every now and then you, you try some of my food we made that um that stew or that big soup when we were out in the winter mm -hmm. you had that that was pretty good yeah. so that's the deal I, I always try and get him to try and experiment with foods sometimes he takes it sometimes he doesn't but uh anyways we're gonna carry on and uh and get some food cooked up because i am starving like i already said All right, so I got my beef, my onion, carrot, orange pepper, yellow pepper, garlic. I got all that good stuff in there cooking. And I'm gonna cook it, not mushy, but soft. I, I don't like my food mushy. So we are gonna cook, obviously cook the beef all the way. Um, but this, this is smelling awesome. This is smelling really good, really good. So we'll get this cooked up. And uh, yeah, it smells extremely good right now. This is exactly the smell that you don't want in camp when you're this far in the woods. So we're gonna be sure to get all this down in the truck, uh, which is why I like cooking during the daylight and not during the, the night times because I can actually see my area. I know what's, what's around and it's really good right now because everything from that side to that side and all behind me is nothing but water. So my only, area that I really need to watch is forward which is why I'm standing my back to the water and I'm kind of looking this way to kind of keep an eye on what's going on so a lot of smells a lot of great food man this smells awesome really really good
Desmond's going to try a little piece of this beef. Eyes watering. Yeah. It's a really spicy curry. Some noodles, carrots. Yeah, that's spicy. Mmm. You like it? Yeah. Different flavor, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Wanna try carrot? No. You good? Yeah. A little spicy? A little spicy. Alright, you can go ahead and go play. Still building his, uh, what is it? It looks like a fort. It looks like a fort or some kind of animal trap. <laughs> animal trap. <laughs> All right, so simple Asian style dish in the woods. Very spicy. I'm surprised he actually tried it. Mmm. Man. I'm not gonna. I can't talk to the camera anymore. I gotta eat. This stuff is awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I know I do. Mmm. Man. I'll check back in with you guys. All right, guys, we have come down to the water and basically looking right out at the lake just behind the camera and brought a few things with us, some cups and pots and whatnot. So what we've got going on right now is Desmond's got a cup of hot chocolate here, very hot. Uh, you're gonna want that to cool down for a little bit. And me, I am going with some green tea with some fresh ginger. So I brought a little sprig of ginger and a little grater, and I've got some green tea leaves, loose green tea here. I'm gonna go ahead and add to my pot and let that steep and uh, have some green tea and ginger, some fresh green tea. So we'll let that kind of do its thing in the pot. And already it's turning a nice green color and uh, add my fresh ginger. Surprisingly, I am a tea drinker. Not a lot of people know that. Um, I enjoy specialty type teas. I don't really, I mean, I'm not gonna go out to, you know, a coffee shop and order a tea or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I like making my own tea um, as, as fresh as I can, you know? I mean, I got the, the green tea leaves, they're dried, fresh ginger. Oh man, that smells awesome. Smell that. Ooh, smell that. Smell good? Yeah. You ever have ginger? Do you want to try? No, gingerbread, yes. Uh, gingerbread. Here. Cut you off a little piece here. Put it on the spoon. You try a little piece. 
that there. That's a great thing about bringing ginger into the woods is you can shave off a little bit of the skin, grate it, and you can leave it and it'll it'll kind of dry out on the outside. But all you gotta do is cut it, shave it again, and you're good to go. So this chunk right here is good for like 30, 40 teas, depending on how strong you want it. So I like carrying a piece of it. Go ahead and pull it off the spoon there. Yep. Try it. It's strong. It's kind of spicy. Kind of spicy, kind of. <laughs> Different? Yeah. <laughs> Go spit it out if you don't like it. <laughs> oh, that's a funny face. So you learn what ginger tastes like. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I got my pot, green tea, fresh ginger in there. Uh, oh, there goes the ginger. Can you pick that up for me there? And just toss it right up here, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's fine. A little bit of dirt. It's natural, right? So that's what we're doing right now. We're going to sit back and he's going to... Well, you're going to enjoy your hot chocolate once it's cool. Yeah. We don't want a relapse of our Christmas episode. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that Christmas episode where we were on my uh, we were on my property in my semi-permanent kind of hot tent setup, uh, Desmond burned himself pretty good. And then he went in for a double take and burned himself again. <laughs> yeah. He learned. So that's the, that's the plan. We're going to kick back and... We're gonna hopefully enjoy a nice sunset yeah. if the, the sun comes down and we're looking out. Pretty gray right now, but I think we might get a little bit of color. A little bit, but that's the plan. We're gonna kick back, relax, and it is absolutely silent out here. Birds, that's it. Birds, that's it. So tea, hot chocolate, great view. Let's enjoy it. Hey guys, what's going on? So it's been probably about four or five hours, I'd say. And uh, we've been down skipping rocks. Yeah. Throwing some rocks in the water. Um, we've been having a good time, actually. We've been kind of, we, we shut the camera off and, and we did our own thing for, for four or five hours, like I was saying. Um, it was nice, really nice. We were down by the truck on the, on the water edge there, skipping rocks. Uh, a couple bald eagles flew over. That was cool. Um, as you can hear, frogs and crickets. Frogs and crickets. The night is here for sure. Uh, we never got the color that we were looking for for our sunset, unfortunately. It kind of faded to gray. But uh, I can see through the trees right now, the water is looking pretty calm. But we're thinking it's possibly going to rain tonight. Just, just get that feeling it might rain tonight. So, what we're going to do for nighttime is we're actually going to drop this panel wall behind Desmond. We're going to drop that down on the ground and instead of putting up the other panel wall what we're going to do is drop all of these poles down and we're going to take the roof and we're going to go ahead and drop it down and zip it shut as the main front door and that way we can stay buttoned up and not worry about this guy sagging with rain or wind coming in and ripping the stakes out of the ground and all that stuff so that's the plan um we're going to be kicking around here for a little bit longer and probably head on inside and watch a movie on the phone and have a couple snacks and whatnot and uh, tomorrow early morning. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of our plan. We just wanted to come back and let you guys know what was up, what we did. And uh, yeah, we'll be up early in the morning 
and we're hoping to be out of here before noon. So we're going to get up, have a breakfast, have a coffee, kind of check out the lake, you know, a little bit, get stuff packed up leisurely. I don't like to rush and pack up, especially when you got this much stuff. So, Thanks. hear that? It's some weird birds out here tonight. <laughs> Heard yeah. owls. You hear eagles off in the distance. Plus... Plus, we got that tree right behind us that's moaning and groaning and creaking, so. Yeah, well, we actually thought that was like bears. You thought it was a bear. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's the plan. We're just going to kick around camp, and it's going to be a nice, relaxing evening. We're probably going to get to bed early and uh, get get some rest. And then yeah. tomorrow, like I said, we'll, we'll get up early and do our stuff and, and get out of here. We got our simulated campfire. We got our lantern here and our other lantern there. Uh, as it gets darker, we're thinking the two of them closer together will throw off a lot of light and give that camp feel. So we're happy with that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So we're going to say goodnight. Do you want to say goodnight to them now or later? Maybe later. Maybe later? Yeah. Are you sure? Maybe. You're going to be all bundled up inside of the tent? I'm going to say goodnight now. Yeah. And then we don't have to get back out. And yeah, we're going to say goodnight now. <laughs> Because I don't want to get in there and then have to come back out, set up everything and, and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. well, uh, it'll be simpler that way. Yeah. So, we'll we'll say goodnight now. And uh, we're not going to bed now. We're going to be up for a while. But, mm -hmm. yeah. You say peace out? Peace. Peace out. We'll catch you guys in the morning unless something happens throughout the night. Uh, but, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out. Good morning, everybody. So it is pushing about eight o'clock right now. Um, Desmond's awake right behind me. Hi. Hi. He's uh, he's having a bear paw in bed, a little snack, and it is freezing cold out right now. So I got the kettle on right now. We're gonna make some hot drinks. Uh, 
it's snowing. <laughs> it's freezing rain and snowing. So I can see out through the trees right now some pretty large snowflakes. Uh, I just went down to the truck to get the, our food bag here. And standing down there, you can see the blowing freezing snow and freezing ice and stuff across the lake. So it is pretty cold out right now. Uh, I just set the awning up and my hands are absolutely frozen from just doing that. So hot drinks are a must. That's what we're doing right now, right off the bat. We're both gonna have hot drinks and we're gonna have our breakfast. And then we're gonna, I think we're gonna get out of here pretty quick just because it's, it's forecasted to get worse than it is right now. And once the winds start picking up and coming off the lake, they're really gonna start kind of lifting the, the awning and, and I don't want to be ruining the tent because of high winds. So we're going to do that and we're, we're still going to enjoy the area and we're going to take our time going home. We might stop off at a familiar location and have another little kind of snack break or whatnot, but we're going to have some fun driving out of here. It's a, it's a four wheel drive trail, so it should be interesting when it's all wet and muddy and slick. So that should be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna get some hot beverages and Desmond's gonna get out of there in a few minutes once he gets a little warmed up. And uh, yeah, what an awesome night. What an awesome, awesome night. Very quiet, very windy. Beautiful night. Ooh, here comes some rain coming off the treetops. Pretty awesome out here. Haven't seen a single person other than Desmond, that is. <laughs> All right, so late last night, uh, I only have one camp foldable pack chair and Desmond was sitting on this rock and we also have one of those, wanna grab that pad over there? Your pillow? Yeah, yeah, bring that right over here. So we also have one of these kind of hot seats for hunting, kind of put on the ground, nice and warm. Um, so he was on the rock, but then we wanted to kind of move locations and, and sit in a different area in the open, and there wasn't any rock. So I was like, run to the truck and grab your car seat. So this is Desmond's booster seat with the pad. There you go, you want to sit, do you want to sit on, do you want this or do you want to sit on the rock? Oh, sit on this, where do you want to get it somewhere it's dry, right? You can probably sit right here actually. You want to park, park yourself right there, nice and warm. Yeah. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a hack, just using his booster seat, and it worked out pretty good. All right, I got my hot coffee. Desmond's got his hot drink. It's pretty good. Hands are a little warm now. Still raining. Uh, the, the snow and freezing rain's kind of off and on right now. Um, it is still raining though. I thought it was just falling off the trees. It is full on raining outside of the woods. Uh, you can see it out over the lake. But I think what we're gonna do, talking things over with Desmond here, um, it, it is quite chilly out. We didn't pack for this kind of temperature. We actually thought it was going to stay above 10 degrees Celsius and it's floating at two degrees Celsius right now and we can't have fires. So what we're going to do is we're going to pack all of our stuff up and we're going to race down to the truck, get it in the truck. We're going to get that fired up. We're going to start crawling out of here. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to stop at another location on the way back, a familiar location that some of you may recognize. Uh, for previous videos and we'll do a lunch there. Cool? Yeah. So that's the plan. We're going to finish up our drinks and we're going to tear camp down, get all the dry stuff packed away and then put all the wet stuff in a separate bag and get that packed in the back of the truck and then hit the trail. So I'll check back in with you guys once we're ready to head down to the truck. I'm not going to kind of film all the pack up. That's kind of messy, nitty gritty stuff. So. Why don't we do that? We'll sit back for a few more minutes, enjoy this, and then we'll get out of here. Cool. All right, every 
everything is packed up, all the gears in the truck, Desmond's in there right now sitting down warming up. There's a couple things I just want to go over with the truck because I was reviewing footage last night and I, I kind of realized that I never mentioned a few things so if I get asked hopefully this helps. Uh, the headlights, so right now looking at it they're not flashing. In the camera, they are flickering. It's due to the frame rate that I'm recording at, so no, the headlights are not actually flashing and flickering. Uh, it's, it's all in the camera. Second, uh, <laughs> I have either a dry axle or something going on with my four-wheel drive in the front because it squeals a lot only when it's in four-wheel drive in the front end. So there is a little bit of a squeal. I'm totally aware of that. It's been that way for a year. It works, <laughs> uh, picking away at it slowly. Um, third, I have a big balled up wet tent in the back of the truck right now. It is freezing cold. Uh, we just decided to ball it up, put it in the back, deal with it when we get home. So right now, warming up the truck, having one last look at the lake. Uh, we're gonna be getting out of here. It is cold out right now, cold. So let's get on the trail and let's get to the next location for lunch. Okay, so we made it out of the the, the real nasty kind of off-road trail and uh, a lot of bushwhacking back there. That was pretty cool, eh? Yeah. The, uh, Desmond's window was down a little bit and a lot of these pine needles and stuff was flying inside, so that was kind of, that was cool, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so we're back at a, a very familiar location. In fact, right where I'm standing is where I did a hot tent video in the iron wall. And then just right over here is where we're gonna go in a second. I'm just gonna grab our snack. Uh, is where I spent the night in the in the smoky hut. So let's grab our we got hard boiled eggs, we're gonna eat those and a couple other snacks. Let's go on up here and let's eat them over there, okay? Okay, let's go. Alright, so we got a couple hard boiled eggs. Here's one for you. We chose to bring hard boiled eggs because they're stable, they're already cooked, they're uh they're not likely to go bad while you're out. And it was quite warm yesterday. How was it? Good. Good. It was quite warm yesterday. These things are cold now. <laughs> mm. Good source of protein, good food, nice and easy to eat. Pretty awesome view, eh? I slept right here in the hot tent last year. Up right here in the rain, just like it is right now, and I got to look at that all night. You're 
on this side. Right up here. That's something. Put your belt on, okay? Okay, so we've had our breakfast and kind of kicked around here for a little bit, had a snack. Uh, we're underneath the trees, so we're kind of enjoying the rain and not getting wet with, uh, with an awesome view of the fresh running water. Excellent spot. I love coming here. And, uh, well, last time I was here, I finished the video standing pretty much right here. So I'm going to do it again. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Who, uh, How many of you have watched it to the end? Uh, I know this is a very, very different video on how I usually film. And it's, it's really important for me to do that because I don't like to do the same things over and over and over again and get boring or get stagnant and, and just, that's not who I am. I like to do things different. You'll notice that whenever I go out, I'll sleep in different shelters every single time. So I never use the same tent twice. I never use the same sleeping bag twice. I always mix things up. So coming into the warm season, it was really important for me and Desmond to get out together and get back way back in the forest and take the truck and have some fun you know pack some luxuries have fun and that's exactly what we did and we had an excellent opportunity to show you guys how you can get out if you can't hike far or if you can't you know you're physically not able to do that or maybe you're in a wheelchair have someone that has a vehicle that's capable enough to get you somewhere and it doesn't have to be a big four-wheel drive you can go down dirt roads that don't require four-wheel drive just in our area, we do require four-wheel drive in a lot of the areas that we want to get to that are private. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, very different from regular stuff, but we are coming into the warm season, and hopefully we'll be able to get out in the kayak more, do some more backcountry lake-style camping, do a little bit more truck camping and hiking, of course, and the regular stuff. So, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'm going to say peace out. We're going to go home. we got a truck load of gear that we got to get cleaned out, and the tent is soaking wet. So, awesome time. Thank you guys for following along and joining us, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.